Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of Clash of Clans. This is a little different than my usual videos because I wanted to take you through a Dark Elixir strategy that I've seen on YouTube that I've been using. It's called either the Archer Walk or Super Queen. So basically what you do, or maybe the Archer Queen Walk, basically what you do is you use the Archer Queen and a bunch of healers and well breakers and archers or minions to get Dark Elixir. So let me show you. So here's my attack log. So the last four I can do replays, so let me start off with the replay here. Now this is a Town Hall 8, but you can see they have 1800 Dark Elixir. So I start off some archers taking out the Town Hall, and then what I do is I use my archers to take out buildings on the corners. It's called funneling, and I put my Archer Queen down, and I put usually start off with four healers behind her. I usually wind up using all eight, but I take eight healers with me, and 12 wall breakers. As you can see, she's getting pretty hurt here. But the archers on the left and right have been funneling her. So basically, they've been knocking out the buildings and they, they remove the temptation for her to go around the outside. So what I'm doing with the wall breakers, unsuccessfully here though, is trying to break into the middle. You can see where the dark elixir storage is. Now I'm bringing some more archers in and I'm gonna speed this up a little bit to make this video not really long. But you can see the wall breakers are breaking through and giving her a path to go into. Actually, I'm going to slow this down. It's very flashy here. So the goal for her is to get into the middle and take out that Dark Elixir storage. And you can see that she's using her, you know, her bow to just take out these buildings one by one, and it takes a little while. But if you can focus her in the right direction, you can see she's, I basically cleared a path for her to go up the middle. She will eventually get to the Dark Elixir storage. And you can see on the bottom I have one star because the archers on the on the left side have taken out the town hall. And here I go, I have eighteen I'll have eighteen hundred dark elixir from this run. Now it takes a little while to build this up because healers take fifteen minutes to train, um wall breakers take two minutes and archers take like twenty five seconds, but it takes about half an hour possibly to to build up enough troops. So I'm gonna end this here. So that's 1800 Dark Elixir. Let me, actually, let me let it finish to see what it shows here. Yeah, I mean, it's not a lot of Elixir, so you're spending a lot of Elixir to get Dark Elixir, but I still like to use this method. Here's attack number two. Same thing. This is for 1200 Elixir. So you can see there's 1270 Dark Elixir in this, in this, build, in this base. So I'm using archers on the bottom to take out the town hall, and I'm also funneling on the... Okay, I see. I, I forgot what I did here. I'm using archers to funnel on the left and right sides of the archer here, archer queen. I'm going to speed this up a little bit again. So the funneling distract makes her not get distracted from going left and right. I want you want her to go up right up the middle. So once the the buildings, I mean the defenses target her, it's safe to send in the wall breakers. Because if like the Tesla on top isn't attacking her, Tesla will start attacking the wall breakers if they get too close. So here she is, she's taking out some of these high hit point buildings slowly, but she's taking them out and eventually she gets right into the middle and takes out the dark elixir storage. Alright, I'm going to slow it down. So I have 1200 dark elixir from, from this. Yeah, the Barbarian King started attacking, so I used her ability to um, basically distract him and put some more archers out, and I took him out. And I basically take my time on this one and collect loot. So I'm going to end that one. My third attack, you can see, gets 1,269 Dark Elixir. Let's see how I do this one. So, I, like I usually do, I start archers on the Town Hall, and then I start funneling left and right, and I put her right up the middle here. So like I said, the archers will take out the buildings on the left and right so that she doesn't start wandering around the outside. And I usually start off with four healers, but eventually I wind up probably using all of them. Because you can see she's getting pretty hurt here. Okay, so now it's a pretty clear path up the middle. Now there's some high hit point hit point buildings here. Now I had to use her special ability in order to um, get healed up again. But you can see I am taking out all these 
all these buildings. Here I sent all my wall breakers in just to blast the path up the middle because there is a lot of loot in the middle here. I'll speed it up a little bit. So sh she's taking out the elixir storage and then she finally moves on to my target that I really want to get is the dark elixir. Here come some skeletons from the trap. I think they had been going after the archers at the town hall. But she's just getting healed and there's and I'm just collecting lots of elect dark elixir. So I let this continue to get more to get re more regular elixir to help pay for this attack. As you can see. Sometimes I like to get two stars. But it doesn't even really matter to me too much. But you can see this is just a side benefit. I'm getting all this regular elixir. And I let the I let this go the whole time because there's no reason not to. But I'm gonna end, end this attack here. And for my last attack, you can see I get almost 1,800 Dark Elixir. Let's watch this one. Now, this is a Town Hall 9, but if you look at the Expos, they're, they're not loaded. So I knew this was going to be a lot easier than a regular attack. Now, they do have a Barbarian King over here. I, I want to clear this area out a little bit for the Archer Queen. And you'll see what happens. I actually don't clear it out well enough, and she winds up going this way. This is why you want to funnel. I really wanted her to go right up the middle, but she does wind up going around the outside. And I'll slow it down a little bit. So my wall breakers keep going the wrong direction. And that's one problem in this game is that the wall breakers, they don't have a very good AI. They don't go really where you really want them to go. So my archer queen went the, went the wrong direction, but it winds up being okay. So now I'm starting to bring the wall breakers in from a different direction. And they're taking out the walls that I want to want her, them to take out. You have to be careful with air defenses. Unfortunately, the Archer Queen doesn't attack a particular type of building first, like defenses. So this one actually got a little bit close. And I'll let this one play all the way through. See, the wall breakers are going to the wrong wall again. I didn't want them to go up there. I really wanted them down below. Here they go again, wrong direction again. Now I get towards the middle. Healers are still doing a good job. And you can always use heal spells and rage spells to supplement um, the healers. The rage will actually heal her a little bit, but also will make the healers heal quicker. Now she's getting qu closer to the Dark Elixir, but um, you know I really wanted to have at least one wall, more wall knocked down, but it didn't work because the wall breakers were just kind of doing whatever they wanted to. So I've seen this on YouTube, and it's to me it's been very helpful. The one issue is it takes a while to train up these forces, and uh, you know you can probably use giants and other forces to do this instead of using the queen. But I do like this; it's kind of fun. So what I did is I let her walk around, and then I ended this battle because I really let her walk around to to get healed up. So nine star, nine trophies, not a lot of regular loot, but I got seventeen hundred and ninety two dark elixir. So I hope you enjoyed this video and. I hope this helps. Use the Archer Queen and some Wall Breakers and some um, Archers and to get some Dark Elixir. Thank you for watching, and if this video helped, please don't forget to hit the like button, and also don't forget to subscribe for more Clash of Clans. Thank you.